Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am taking you on a point of view drive with the new Hyundai Kona. It's the upscaled model and looks fantastic. Just look at this futuristic design. On the front you have the beautiful LED bar here, daytime running LEDs and then the main units are down there as well as the indicators. I can lock the car once again so that you can see them. And we have the beautiful N-line trim and hybrid model today uh, on test. So let me show you the side profile, upscaled model. So it's bigger than the predecessor. And here at the rear, you can spot the gorgeous futuristic design, similar pattern to the one on the front with the LED bar. And then also you have additional lighting on the sides. Tell me in the comments, what are your thoughts? We also have the real exhaust pipe on this model so that's really cool and uh, let, let me actually lock it so I will unlock it now again and show you the trunk so electric tailgate on this one and uh, there we go you also have additional room there we go it's a lot of space available but without further ado let's take this car on a point of view drive so I will talk about the specifications and more details in a moment so this is the interior and as you can see beautiful dual screen layout ambient lights so let's see it from driver's perspective all right then this is the view as a driver press the start button and the car comes to life and it's a hybrid so we are starting in in ev mode and yeah this is the lovely place to be as you can see beautiful ambient lights the dual screen layout and the central console with some buttons cup holders so overall beautiful cabin now uh, the gear selector is actually here so you go into drive like this and then neutral and reverse so very easy to operate and by the way we have the lovely 360 view camera which is always nice to have and useful all right put it to drive and we also have the blind spot view monitor very useful feature we saw it on the other hyundai models as well and uh, the specifications of the model in our video let's start with that so here we have the hybrid powertrain that consists of the 1.6 liter gdi engine and electric motor total output is 141 horsepower and 265 newton meters of torque 10.9 seconds is the time from 0 to 100 and this is one of many options when it comes to the new Hyundai Kona because you can also choose the 1 liter TGDI engine you can have it also as a mild hybrid 120 horsepower then you can go for the 1.6 liter TGDI 198 horsepower that one can be paired with the 4x4 so this car has the front wheel drive layout and then there's also the electric version so tell me in the comments uh, what would be your choice of powertrain but of course today's focus is this one it uh, comes paired with the DCT very smooth and overall the drive is really smooth in this car so it's an upscaled model it sits between uh, Bayonne and Tucson and I think it looks phenomenal really both from outside and inside it's definitely a very modern design and here the layout 12.3 inch digital cockpit in front of the driver and 12.3 inch main touchscreen with the new infotainment system from Hyundai which is improved compared to the predecessor and also many many driver assist and safety systems uh, in this car and we also have different driving modes that are available so when you put it to sport you see also not only the throttle response and everything changes in that perspective but also you have different dials here in front of you there's also the snow mode and then also the eco mode so I will put it to eco mode now and you can also change what you see here in front of you and once again the blind spot view monitor 
being very useful in all kinds of situations. You can also change the right dial here so you see you can have this hybrid dial charge eco and power or you can have the reps of course when the engine is turned on the engine is turned on so you see the revs combination of the electric motor and the petrol engine is so smooth the transition is really seamless and uh, definitely makes the drive very smooth and very relaxing And I really love the appearance of the car, especially with the N-Line. And I must say that the N-Line is the package that you can get here in Croatia for 1,500 euros extra. And by the way, uh, I think you may saw the blind spot assist. There we go. If I turn on the indicator, my steering wheel vibrates and also this flashes. So a lot of warnings, which is always good. So I was talking about the N-Line trim. You can get it for extra 1,500 euros and um, you can get it with either premium or premium plus package. So this car has three trims available in Croatia, style, premium and premium plus. Now this is the premium plus with extra added N-Line. So top of the line model and really it looks phenomenal. Tell me in the comments, would you go for the N-Line? as you get more sporty look with it look how smooth this is so red one for example then purple and also you can set the custom color and then move this to have uh, any color you want basically and the AC is on switches so that's a big thumb up from me And speaking about the easy way to use various things, you have a bunch of buttons here, which are the shortcuts, for example, home map, search media, hazard lights, changing of the tracks. You have the special button that you can customize. Same goes for the button here on the steering wheel. And on the steering wheel, you also have the buttons for the volume, changing of the layout here, and uh, also changing of the tracks. So a lot of options in here all right and let me insert the highway section as well in this video i will put the car to sport mode there we go and let me accelerate there we go 130 so sport mode has this cool dials and then you can go to eco mode and this is how it feels
all right guys and that was it the first point of view test drive in my hometown of Zagreb tell me in the comments how do you like the car and do subscribe there will be plenty of more to come the night point of view drive is probably already live so you will see more details and the ambient lights in their full glory on that video and also there will be static full review of the car with the details about the infotainment system the technology and everything so stay tuned for that that's it for now thank you for watching and see you on the next one